During digoxin therapy, it is essential to monitor serum potassium levels because Option A, low potassium levels increase the chance of toxicity. B, digoxin promotes the excretion of potassium in the kidneys. C, low potassium levels cause an increase in heart rate. D, all of the above. Digoxin is a cardiac glycoside, which comes from the foxgloves plant, known as Digitalis lanata. Digoxin acts by inhibiting the sodium-potassium ATPase pump at the cell membrane of the cardiomyocyte. Digoxin is a positive enotropic and negative chronotropic drug, meaning that it increases the force of the heartbeat and decreases the heart rate. It made digoxin beneficial in patients with systolic heart failure, better known as heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, with an ejection fraction below 40%. It is also used for rate control in atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter when conventional therapies have not achieved the heart rate goal. Digoxin is available in oral and injectable formulations. Digoxin has a very narrow therapeutic index, and digoxin toxicity is one of the most common adverse drug reactions leading to hospitalization. Anorexia, nausea, and vomiting may be initial indicators of toxicity. Patients may also experience blurred vision, yellowish vision, or xanthopsia, and various cardiac arrhythmias. Toxicity can often be managed by discontinuing digoxin, determining serum potassium levels, and, if indicated, replenishing potassium. Hypokalemia, or decreased levels of serum potassium, predispose a patient to digoxin toxicity, Note that patients receiving thiazide or loop diuretics may be prone to hypokalemia. Severe toxicity resulting in ventricular tachycardia may require administration of antiarrhythmic drugs and the use of antibodies to digoxin, called digoxin immune fab, which bind and inactivate the drug. Therefore the answer is option A. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe MedBook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.